Welcome back to the channel everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. If you happen to be stopping by for the very first time, my name is Chuck and I am an LTL driver uh, for a company called Estes Express. LTL just simply means less than trailer load, which means that we pick up a lot of different freight from a lot of different people and then we kind of put it on big, big trucks and we ship it. Um, but what I endeavor to do as I bring you along with me to kind of help you see what it's like uh, to be a LTL driver, specifically a pickup and delivery driver, which it really we do we do deliveries first and then we do pickups. So maybe we're D and P drivers. <laughs> P and D just rolls off the tongue better, I guess. Uh, but I want to thank you for coming along again. Uh, this might help you. Maybe you just got your CDL. Maybe you're thinking about getting your CDL and you're thinking about, you know what I want to do with it when I get it. LTL is definitely a, a great option. You got a lot of different variety. You can be a P&D driver like what I am. You can be a line haul driver where you leave a terminal and you drive to another terminal and you come back home. Uh, or you could be what's called an extra board driver where you go out and you spend five days going from terminal to terminal just shuffling trailers. But there is a lot of different, uh, uh, a lot of variety in LTL. Now LTL is work. They, you know, it's not, it's not like truckload where there's no touch freight. Uh, here we're all about touching the freight. Been sweating like crazy. I'm gonna take you with me today. It's uh, only gonna be 108, so I think we'll be good. <laughs> Yesterday just wore me out. I went home, I ate a sandwich, and I went to bed. Uh, this kind of heat is just it's taxing on your body our next uh, we're gonna be doing a delivery right over here um, This particular place. I think they from what I've delivered there. I think they just kind of a uh, they do everything um, Like today I'm delivering like a pallets of like look like nails and some other things But I figured I'd bring you over here with me. I think it's this building right here that has Matter of fact, I know what it is so, I'm going to be hitting this dock right here. Now, I'm not going to go way down there and turn around. We're going to we're going to put our four ways on. And we're just going to I hate to even call it blindside, but it's still blindside. Cuz we're going in that dock. So what I like to do is get it set up Leave myself some room over here because I'm gonna need it. Just watch mailboxes and everything else. Look at there, look at there. We might have to correct it just a hair. Yeah, pull forward just a little bit. LTL is all about where can you make up time. RNL. And driving all the way down there would have been easier. Yeah, it would have been easier because anytime that you can sight back, it's always easier than trying to figure out what's going on because you got to be really careful about what's on your left, what's going on on your right. It's all about your tractor too. If you got a good quality tractor you get used to, it's amazing what you can do with it. You know it's turn radius. That's why, you know, thankfully I get to drive the same truck the vast majority of the time. Because if I had you, when you slip, and I've been there, when you slip seat all the time, every one of these trucks drive differently. And, you know, it's just something else that, you know, can cause you to, you know, you have to slow down because you got to really watch what you're doing. All right, let's see, we got that. This is my little handheld. Okay, we have arrived. So we're going to go kick this stuff off. And again, it's just one pallet <sighs> a 
batteries. Nobody out here. Evidently they deal with batteries. There's a lot of batteries in here. So. Guess we'll go find somebody. Hello? Oh, okay. How's it going? I got one pilot for you guys. I thought these were nails. <laughs> There's some type of battery. Well, you guys can tell who, what they deal with. <clears throat> and I've still got uh, four more stops back there today. I had a total of, I had three on a first run, and then I had nine on this one. <sighs> Push and pull, that's the story of a PND driver. <clears throat> What's nice about docks like this, they're they're slanted downhill. So when you do have to unload stuff, it's pretty easy. enjoying the heat? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, just right there, yeah. There you go, sir. Right, Have a great day. You too. Thanks. So once we get these back, I already put See, I got here at 11.45. Put down 11.50. I'll put in my handheld that everything was delivered A-OK. -O -O okay. And then we will be... I always take these and put them up here until I'm totally done. And then I put them in my little ca holding case down there. Because if I don't, it's, I'm constantly messing with that. And again, this is all about trying to save time. You're up against the time all day long. Depart stop. Our next location, we're headed over. We got one over there. It's going to be over across the road further on back. I'll see you guys when we get up. All right, our next one is over here with, where uh, AAA Cooper is. So we're going to have to wait on him. I think he's pulling out right now, actually. Yep. We're going in that same dock as he's coming out of. You can see a lot of these same guys. You get every now and then you get a chance to meet one of them at a stop you know we try to always be mindful of one another and you know some of them you're on a route long enough you get to know them pretty well okay here we go y'all ready We're 
all good over there. You just gotta watch out for the cars on this side because sometimes they'll be parked right here on the corner. I always try to be real gentle when I hit their docks. I don't want them to think I'm coming through their building. So, I know we're getting close. There you go. And some are harder than others. I mean, you'll hit some, it feels like you hit a brick wall. Others you'll hit, and it, it feels like you're hitting air. I mean, just a little bitty, depends on their bumpers back there, or their little pads. So on the handheld, we're gonna hit that we've arrived. And we're gonna go inside. <laughs> you trying to give me good service, huh? <laughs> did you guys used to have a place down there as well? Yes. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Oh, they're not. Oh, okay. You guys just didn't like them anymore? Uh, we got bought out. <laughs> oh, did you guys get bought out? Yeah. Oh, they haven't. Got some screws. <clears throat> yep, they're no longer with us. That's Astra now down there. Oh, is that who that is now? Yeah. They were always fun getting into. So you had to kind of go in and kind of come around there. Yeah. There you go. All right. Thanks, sir. Uh -huh. This one is going to be right over here. I may have to go in there and spin around, but we'll see here in a second. See, because they got stuff right there. I don't know if you can get around that or not. Alright, we're going to put that we're here. Nope. Will I be able to go all the way around? Uh, yeah, you should. I can. Okay. Can move something if we need to. Okay. Most be able to. <laughs> That's kind of the idea. Don't cut it wide. Just don't cut it too wide. Yeah. Just this one.
awesome. There you go, sir. Right. Have a good day. Thanks. Am I looking all right? Yeah. Okay. Like yeah, I'm going to. Oh, okay. Y'all got a cement in that over there, didn't you? Yeah. Was you here? That over there used to be dirt. I yeah. noticed it's cement now. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah, we should be okay. We should be okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. See, all this used to be dirt back on that other side. So, yeah, this isn't a problem. I mean, that's a little tight. can be a little tight coming through there if there's some cars and stuff like this parked right there. But stay wide and watch your mirrors. You guys, we'll see you at the next one. All right, this place we're going to next, I've got to take this little loop-de-loop -loop here. I've tried to do it at another road further down, but it was, it was tight. I found that it was a little easier for me to be able to maneuver these little city streets coming back this way. Luckily, there's no one coming this way. Do the loop, the loop. See, because this turn right here, I tried to come this way this one time. You couldn't, I couldn't make that turn. If there's cars like they are there, you can't make it around. <laughs> I had to wait for all the cars to, to move off to the right and I had to swing out and get in there. And it just, there's just more traffic as you come further into town. So I, I find it better to kind of do the, you know, the, the wooving, the weaving back there. And sometimes I do catch cars. This place right here, what I have to do is I have to kind of pull into their neighbor's facility and kind of pull up. Usually this guy, there's a guy here, he does have a forklift, thank God, uh, where this would be a, a, definitely have to be a, a lift gate delivery. The big city of Collinsville, Collinsville, Oklahoma. You know it's an old town when you got bricks on the roads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come, he's, he's located right over here in this little wreck, uh, this building. So I have to kind of come off of this road, off into this laundry. Oh, that's gotten worse since the last time I was here. And then right here, and he's usually pretty good about uh, coming right out and getting everything done. You know, it's commercial. How you doing? Good, yeah. Oh, pretty good. Got one for you. Is it big, small? It's, it's long. It was like maybe doors or something. Oh. It's that one down there on the left. Uh, they do. You know, it can't be easy. Sprinkle. 
Looks like you got plenty of stuff in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Put it by them other ones. Packing slip as well, it looks like. Mason City, Iowa. Yeah. Covid brain up there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as far as I can tell, this is where it's going to take around back and put them in the second warehouse. Be nice if they put them in a crate. These people, this is this is this this, this is, is good, good for them, huh? You know, oh. <laughs> you ask for a premium crate, just what you get. <sighs> yes, I. Anything that's enclosed that many. Yeah. This is our second remake on these. Oh, is it really? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's okay. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you. Alright guys, that's little town, little, I guess they just do, they do a lot of doors, there's a lot of doors inside there. Uh, so guys, I think I'm going to end it here, well believe me, we're going to make all kinds of videos, so don't worry about it, if it's check I want to see, a pickup is just like doing a delivery, it's just most of the time the pickups, uh, there's a lot of docks involved usually on my side, so, uh, but guys, until I see you at the next video, I hope each and every one of you have a blessed rest of your day. And remember this, life is truly short. Make sure you make it sweet. Guys, we'll see you at the next one. Peace.